Thank you, Deputy Speaker, sir. Give me opportunity to participate in this online three to the flood situation throughout the country. Sir, first of all, I convey my sincere thanks to Honorable Home Minister Sri Dhanas Singh Ji for our request. He has sent his MOS, Sri Kiran Rajuji, to Kerala, visit the flood affected area. Sri Kiran Rajuji came to my district, Alapi, and also my constituency, Kutanad. He was, I witnessed the situation of the Kutanad as well as Alapi and other areas. I convey my sincere thanks to Sikran Jijuji to came flood affected area and interact with the affected families and see the situation throughout the Kerala and especially in Kutanad. Sir, this monsoon is unprecedented and in the past, it was not happened in Kerala, especially in Alapi district, Kutanad. Sir, in Kutanad, more than 500 leaf camps are working there. 1,50,800 inmate, inmates are in the relief camps. Sir. sir, in Upper Kutanad, also number of relief camps and inmates also more than 25,000. Sir, the relief camps facing so many problems. <coughs> No sufficient food, water, medicine, and also preparation for the food, gas connection, vegetables, coconut oil. State so government is providing maximum, but we need a more than. Because relief camp is, uh, the, in the past, is uh, 25 relief camps, or 30 or 50. Now, this time, more than 500 Kutanad itself. And upper, upper Kutanad also, more than uh, that. So electricity, water supply, ration shop, everything is affected, this heavy flood in Kutanad. Sir, so temples and churches, they are closed. Because of the last one week, temples and churches are not open because Inside and outside the temples and churches are water. So, this is the pathetic situation there in Kutanad. I don't want to explain to the speciality of the Kutanad. Everybody knows that Kutanad is a backwater area, so below sea level. Whatever the rains are there in the Western Ghats, the entire water is flowing to Kutanad. So, if Kutanad is not a rain, the Western Ghat is a rain that water is coming to Kutanad, then adversely affect the Kutanad area. So 90% of the houses are fully damaged. Still, the 90% uh, uh, of the houses are underwater. So after the water is come out from the houses, the residents, the house owners, they could not stay in the house because most of the houses, one week, one and a half week or two weeks, water is inside the house. What is the person? House will be unfit. Any moment, house will be collapsed. That is more dangerous. So, school buildings, also dangerous. Anganwadis, libraries, government offices, everything is affected in Kutanad, sir. Sir, milk, newspapers, telephone connectivity, last one week, totally collapsed in Kutanad, sir. Mobile connectivity also not available in Kutanad. Sir, car, bikes, scooter, cycle, all the vehicles are washed away in Kutanad area. Sir, cattle, they don't have shelters. 
thousands of cattle are there in the in, in every houses there is a cattle that cattle also so tell me what is the relief you want to yeah i, I am i am sir this is a very important point sir i am yeah, i want to this is my conscience yeah, severely yeah, affected why you are interfering sir so cattle shelter also not there sir there are 10 dead bodies 10 dead bodies in the mortuary because last one week they could not uh, uh, properly burial they could not do it burial or cremation the hindus uh, they want to cremation but christians they want to burial cemetery that also not not uh, in a uh, workable condition so therefore more than 10 dead bodies in the hospital mortuary sir this is the situation we are facing in kutanar sir sir i am not uh, going in, in the, all the details sir school children lost their school uniform books notebook textbook everything they lost sir in schools and colleges last two weeks they are closed because the heavy rain all the road connectivities also broken main road kutanad alappi changnasheri road ac road that is the main connectivity of kutanad and alappi to other area that road also collapsed that road road uh, transportation is suspended majority of the people are in isolated area they are in the different islands sir padashagrams that it means paddy fields the 90 percent of the paddy fields are their outer bunch was broken thousands of gators paddy field washed out and uh, and the farmers they invested crore and crore rupees in each uh, uh, in uh, total part shagrams that also washed out sir kutanad package that is most important as far as kutanad is concerned sir first upa government was announced the uh, uh, solving kutanad farmers problem the first UPA government was appointed, Dr. M. S. Swaminathan, uh, who is the well-known agriculturist, uh, agriculture scientist. He himself born in Kutanad. So he is the Dr. M. S. Swaminathan Foundation was well studied in Kutanad, and they have submitted the uh, report to the uh, first UPA government. Then first UPA government approved and accepted without any correction the kutanad package the second upa government was implemented uh, the uh, uh, second upa government was given uh, permission to uh, implementation of the kutanad package government of kerala has the implementing agency water authority uh, water resource ministry and agriculture ministry is the uh, giving funds from government of india but kutanad package first part is already over but the second phase second phase is not taken up because of the shortage of the fund honorable c premajendran my dear colleague mr premajendran was at that time irrigation minister in kerala water resource minister sir m s swaminathan has detailed study about the uh, kutanad farmers problem he has submitted the report to government of india that report second phase of the Kutanad package. We need to implement immediately. The Honorable Agriculture Minister is here. Honorable Water, Minister, uh, Water Resource Minister also not here, but uh, he must aware of Kutanad package. The Kutanad package second phase is only to protect the farmers' interest because the outer bunch of the Padash Academy is very weak and very poor. Okay. So whenever the heavy rain comes to Kutanad, the entire uh, bunch will be broken, right, outer bunt. So we want to strengthen the outer bunt of the uh, uh, Padashagrams or uh, Paddy fields. So another thing, AC road, second phase, uh, no, AC canal, second phase, Tanir Mukham barrage and Thotapalli spillway. These are the main components to related to uh, Kutanad area. So these three components should be uh, uh, completed, uh, construction should be complete immediately, sir. Sir, Agriculture Ministry and Water Source Ministry should come forward and take uh, this work immediately, sir. 
So Agriculture Ministry, RKVY, and uh, uh, Water Resource Ministry, Flood Management Scheme, they have given they have sufficient fund. They can uh, they can sanction RKBY and uh, RKBY and the flood management sir. Sir, sir, the first phase of the Kutrand package, wherever right. ten minutes you have taken. Yeah, yeah. Sir, time, where, wherever wherever the outer bun, buns strengthen, wherever the Kyle Padashagra strengthen, there is no uh, the flood was not affected. But wherever the Padashagra was uh, not strengthened and uh, Kyle uh, uh, Kyle uh, uh, Paddy Field also not taken up. Uh, please wind up, please. The farmers themselves constructed the So there, there, wherever the outer band is not constructed, they are badly affected, sir. So therefore, I would like to request the Honorable Agriculture Minister and also I would like to request the Honorable Water Resource Minister to have a meeting with the uh, concerned stakeholders and sort out this problem right. and allow 1,000 crores for restoring the part of the outer bands, sir. The sir, another thing, sir. Sir, I am going to complete it, sir. So I am not taking much time. I am uh, always completing within the time, sir. But this is my constituency, badly affected. Everybody knows that Kutanad is a backwater area. Right. Many of the members of the parliament came to Kutanad. Uh, and that's what...